It's your buddy, Big John and G. Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. This brings us together for another Midday Monologue Monday. And not just any Midday Monologue Monday, but the day that we are dropping our summer catalog. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy some of the games that we have coming up. And let us know if there's any games that you wish that we would have a chance to preview here. Or if you have a game that you would like us to preview and showcase, let us know that too. We're open to all those options. Oh, 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 I, I, there's one thing I want to say. I know there were some things from last season's catalog that I said were coming and did not come. I can guarantee you that what I'm saying is coming now definitely is because I do have the entire summer catalog of the unboxings already filmed, already uploaded, just ready to schedule. So you have my word, if I'm talking about it being in this catalog, I don't know why it's not going to be. Unless it gets pushed, because something else happens. <sighs> Things can happen, but I do have everything filmed. And so for the summer catalog 2020 for 2GP. Now, this is in no particular order, so don't hold me to that, definitely. But what we do have already in the can and uploaded, as I said, ready to be scheduled. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Now, this is the newest of the Cooperative Dungeons & Dragons system games. This one is currently done by WizKids, I believe. And it continues the line with using same similar rules and the ability to mix and match characters and their class cards between the games. Really looking forward to that. Both Dinosaur Island and Dinosaur Island Totally Liquid have been filmed, have been uploaded, and are waiting to be scheduled so you can see them. Now, these games have me excited because of the entire, the entire, uh, you know, Jurassic Park feel to the game of genetically making these dinosaurs and uh, setting them up in your own amusement parks. So this is going to be a lot of fun. But also, and I'm not sure when this is going to be, so I don't, this is not officially on the summer catalog. I don't know, maybe it'll be on the, the winter catalog. I'm not sure, because it all depends on when it comes in. But there's also uh, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, which is which is hitting us very soon if it didn't drop to us already. Uh, so if that gets here in time, that's going to make it to the catalog. Just like Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, these next two I'm mentioning uh, are also Kickstarter games that I have backed. And that is Little Living Dungeon, which is a tin box game from Australia that is about you being a dungeon. You're, you're a dungeon. You're a thinking, scheming, plotting, living dungeon. And all these pesky adventurers, they keep invading, killing the monsters that live there and stealing from you. you you're going you're gonna to stick it to them. I just think that sounds like so much fun. And it was a small game, didn't cost much. Uh, so uh, there was a lot of factors in why I backed that. And a lot of it is similar to this next one. Also, why I backed Way of the Samurai. Small game, uh, one player game with a two player option and a campaign option that uh, Stretch Goals uh, met in order to, to give us. And it looks like a really, really fun little game where, you know, you're living the life of a samurai. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I want to give that a try. Now, um, also, I want to say that besides uh, Little Living Dungeon, I should have mentioned this actually before I jumped to Way of the Samurai, but there's another game that's not officially on the schedule list yet because I don't know when... Uh, I'm getting a copy of it. Maybe I have already by the time this time this dropped, so it's actually in the schedule. But maybe not. I, I don't know, because as of this moment, I, I haven't received it yet. But there's a, there's a similar game with you being a living dungeon uh, fighting off adventurers, and that's called Die in the Dungeon. 
Uh, and it's by Fundamental Games, the same company that brought us uh, Legends of Novus and Duel of the Dragons. So I'm really looking forward to that. I just don't know when I'm going to get it, so I don't know if it's going to be in this catalog or the next one. Sinister Six is definitely in this summer catalog. I, uh, I heard about this game, then it kind of fell off my radar a little bit, and then it got back on my radar, and I had an opportunity to get a used copy of it, so I, I, I grabbed that up right away, and I, uh, I, it looks nice. I did the unboxing. I'm very excited about this game. It has sort of a, I don't know what you call it. Maybe I'm completely wrong in, in the using of this word, this phrase of it, because I'm not a art major or anything, but it kind of reminds me of this jazzy 1950s, 60s style art deco kind of look to the villains. Like Burgle Brothers, like Burgle Bros. Uh, a similar style of that, a little bit cleaner, a little bit tighter, but similar style. And I just, it looks beautiful to look at. And seeing the cards and getting a chance to play the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of bad guys, uh, there are two expansion packs that are coming in. Well, actually, already came in, already did the unboxing again, already filmed. Uh, it's already been uploaded, just waiting for to be scheduled. And that's two of the expansion packs for uh, Fantasy Flight Games' Marvel Champions, the card game. And I'm talking about the Wrecking Crew scenario pack and also the Thor hero pack. So they've gotten in here. They've come in. They've been handled. They've been, they've been unbagged, uh, unpackaged. And now we're just waiting to show off the video. Two games that I got, uh, because I had, I, I had this idea to do a new die series, uh, with people, but now with with everything going on, at least at the time I'm filming this, there's not a lot of social interaction going on. But they still look like fun games, and they looked up fun during the unboxing and, uh, of them, and that is uh, Fantasy Flight Games' Age of War, which is a, a game of, uh, about samurais. So that kind of that definitely looked interesting. And the other was Dracaris Dice, which uh, kind of makes me feel a little bit like... Uh, it, re it, re it reminds me of Dragon Slayer, the dice game. But not quite. But enough that I definitely see that in the game. And that's a fun game to begin with. So Dracarys Dice, I'm looking forward to giving that a try and, and adding that into the dice collection. And, oh, that's it. That's it. That actually might be a little bit more than we're going to be able to fit in. Because, like I said, there's a few games that I wish I had gotten already so I could know where they're going to fall on the schedule. But they're coming in. They're, they're definitely going to be here. So they're going to be in the schedule somewhere, somehow, uh, the summer or the fall or the winter. <laughs> All depends on when I can fit them in. But So that's what you got to look forward to. And I hope some of those games you find exciting. And if there's games you want to see previewed on this channel, showcase on this channel, let me know. We can, we can work something out, I'm sure. I just love talking about games. I love showing games off. I love getting people excited about games. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining me here on this Monday. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two Gun Pixel Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here.